What's happening, YouTube? Um, just a quick little sound bite, okay? A uh, quick little script that I've been working on uh, for the past week or so. Uh, I've been very busy um, actually making some music at the moment as well. But, excuse me, I just ate. Um, I'm just um, writing a little bit of code to work out how many uh, hosts are going to be on the network so that they can be scanned uh, for the KP tool or any network scanner in general. Um, I'm completely going to rewrite KP, well not completely but um, I'm not happy with the way the code looks, uh, the readability, uh, I want to make it more readable and more simple. Uh, obviously I'm growing as well, I'm not an expert and I want to do the best that I can so um, I'm going to rewrite it. Okay, So just a quick little video on what I'm working on at the moment. We've got a net mask, okay, 255, 252 and that's my dog. Uh, are you alright? Yeah. Say hello. He's a little mongrel. Yeah. Hey. Anyway, right, back down. Right, so we've got 255, 252, 2317. Okay. Now, what we want to do is find the first occurrence after the 255, the first octet. Um, I actually found a video on YouTube that was very helpful with a little formula and I'm going to give you guys a link for that video in the relevant video that's going to um, come um, to do with networking and stuff. Okay, so uh, we want to find the first octet, first occurrence which would be the 252 which would be index 1 technically. So what we do is we can have variable octets which will equal a list I've just um, been investigating list comprehensions as well, which are pretty cool. All right, so you can write your your code on one line, makes it a lot lot cooler, and I've been understanding them a bit better, so that's good. So we've got i for i in mask. Okay, if i is not equal to two five five. Okay, and that should be okay. So we have octet, and that's what we've got in octet. Uh, we can do a length of octet so that we can see um, how many values are in there, or how many octets it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a for, for, fo, that's gangster typing, fo i, for i in Octet. Do a mask. Dot. And remove. I. So remove the items after two five five. Okay. And we do mask, and we left with two five five. What we're going to do is we want to replace this with zeros. Okay. So we have the network section. We have the host section. Okay. Um, you're going to see what I mean when you see the subsequent videos that are going to be coming. Okay, how do we do that? Well, we can do it a million ways. I'm going to do it like this for i in x range uh, length octet mask dot append and we want to append zero. Not those zeros. Okay, and there we have it. All right, so we've got the network section, and we've got the amount of hosts um, that we can scan. So that will make the tool a lot more versatile. Obviously, at the moment, it will just um, scan the the subnet because it's actually in a in a fixed string. But this will work out how many hosts are on the network. Uh, we may even ask the user. All right, the range that you want to scan, obviously if it's too many hosts you're going to be waiting there all day. So um, there's a lot more to come. Um, thank you very much for the support. Uh, I appreciate uh, all the support from everyone and everybody and I'm very very happy that there's people out there that are actually enjoying the tutorials. Um, it makes it worthwhile, believe me. 
okay there's plenty more tutorials to come um, if you like what you watch guys please don't forget to subscribe and hit thumbs up I will appreciate it you can follow me on Twitter at Nepon alright keep coding keep being awesome see ya